I'd like to talk to you about a specific word, a name found only three times in the Bible, Emmanuel. The name first shows up in the book of Isaiah in chapter 7 and verse 14, which reads, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Looking at the concordance, we see that Emmanuel, or H6005, is defined as, with us is God. And you'll see that this particular version is used twice in the King James. And that's because the third use is actually in the New Testament. And so it has a different concordance reference, different language. Isaiah's prophecy foretold Jesus' birth and this name of Emmanuel in the prophecy and says quite clearly that this child will be born of the Virgin and will be God with us on earth. El being one of the Hebrew names for God, of course. A fun fact, when names end in El, E-L, that is a reference to God, since that's a Hebrew word for God, one of them. For, for example, Michael or Mikiel means who is like El. Daniel or Daniel means my judge is L. Uh, Ezekiel means strengthened by L, strengthened by God. Interesting, right? Okay, back to H6005. It has two roots. The first root is H5973 or Im, and it is an adverb or preposition that means with. But more interestingly, it means equally with. Equally. The next root is H410 or L. That word of God means strength, mighty. This is where he gets his name, the Almighty. These two roots are saying Emmanuel is equally with the Almighty. With us is L. The next time we see H6005, it's just a bit later in Isaiah. In chapter 8, verse 8, it reads, And he shall pass through Judah, he shall overthrow and go over, he shall reach even to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breadth of thy land, O Emmanuel. With the concordance number, obviously, of H6005, we have the same definitions that we just covered. But I would like to point out one thing, and that is this italicized word right here. When we see italicized words in the Bible or the concordance, that means that interpreters are adding those words because they think that will help clarify the meanings of the original text to the readers. Notice how the word even doesn't have a concordance number. That's been added in by the interpreters. So if you've ever wondered why there's italicized words, that's why. The final place that we see the name Emmanuel is in Matthew 1 and verse 23. It reads, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is, God is with us. Matthew is explaining that Isaiah's prophecy was being fulfilled by Jesus. The concordance for this New Testament word is G1694, and it is defined as God with us, Emmanuel, a name of Christ. You'll see that this is the only use of this word in the entire Bible. Matthew was explaining the fulfillment of the prophecy here. And when we go back to the root, we see our original H6005. Emmanuel is quite a special word, but I think even more so when you understand the full meaning. As we wait for the king's return, we continue to live in concordance with God's word. Until next time.